So good morning everybody and look who's here. <laughs> Mr. Gary with me today and he's got a new setup. He's got a Daiwa spinning rod. Uh, what is it? Six, six or seven foot? Seven foot. Seven foot medium action. Yeah. And then he's using uh, an Academy H2O X, X reel pulled up with eight pound test and a nice looking spinner bait. Looks like that might be an academy. Oh, the wind stopped blowing. I got my scissors up in the car. I guess I could go back and get them. I'm gonna bargain knife. Nah. See, I had it. I had this set for windy, windy conditions. Yeah. You just throw it across the pond. What's that? Why don't you just throw it across? I, I tried. Yeah, I see that. The only thing that was good at DJ's, the baking wasn't bad, the milk was cold, and uh, even the coffee wasn't that great. And they're under new ownership. Yeah, I knew that. That used to be one of my father-in-law's favorite places to go eat. Well, yeah, I, I've eaten there many, many times. I used to eat there when I worked in the newspaper. Uh, uh, what the hell is named that one on Jefferson and uh, Ritz's? First one. Well, you smart ass. Well, you know. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. Well, he was right there at the edge, too. At the edge of that moss? Yep. Oh, right. Yeah, right there. All right, first fish of the day caught on the red eye shad. Here you are, little buddy. Up oh, number two, I think. Yep, not very big though. You got anything white in there? What? You got anything white in there? White. Yeah, like a white red eye shad. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Get that purple and white one. All right, guys, there's number two. I'm gonna throw this in. Oops, you're good. You're good. Maybe you don't have it in there.
What's your gear ratio on that? This is a six four to one. So you want, I'm reeling kind of slow. You'll want to reel a little bit faster than me. You got that eight pound test. It's going to sink farther. I'll show you here in just a second. That last one I caught, I threw it over that way and drug it across that weed bed and he hit right over that weed bed. Oh, okay. So, where are you at? Okay. One, two, three, four seconds. if that's moss or a fish. That's a fish. Alright, here's what I was talking about yesterday. Look at the markings on this fish. how he, I mean he's got that nice black line down there but that almost looks like a spot, a spotted bass instead of a large mouth. Yeah. Nah, I think it's a large mouth. Yeah. And he's, they're not too bad, they're not real cold. Aren't they? No. No? I just wanted you to see what a fish felt like. Yeah, I, I knew that. <laughs> I know, I'm a smart ass. <laughs> Buddy.
I got one in the uh, in the back seat. It's kind of raggedy, but you can more than welcome to wear it. Well, I almost backlash that time. Is number four, I think. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm getting sick of that. Well, get a heavier one and go out there farther and get white. All right, now see the difference in this fish? His line isn't as defined. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I really don't. I just said no just, just to be honored. All right, so again, they're all about the same size today, guys. Just small little dinks. Bye. <laughs> I dropped him on the ground. You want me to go up there and get you a white one? I don't have one. I'll run up and get one for you. I want it back though, damn it. Oh, you do? I do. Oh, well. And I'll put this... What's up? Yeah. I'll put this one back. Yep. Take your pick, these are all half ounces. What do you think, that one in the middle? This one here? Yeah. I think that is actually a shad pattern. Are they? Just went like B 52s coming in. Shit, Tim, here. <laughs> <laughs> Them little boogers are rough. Yeah. be able to get that one out a little bit farther I think
Yeah, my left one's a little cold. I almost threw that one too hard. I had to stop it with my thumb. Not as bad as it was back in February. Oh, that smells good. Wife and I were driving down the road. You know I'm not going to give you one. No, and I'm not going to ask you for one either. Wife and I were driving down the road a couple of weeks ago. And just out of the blue it hit me. Man, I wish I had a cigarette. Now I've been quit smoking for since July, so it's what seven months, almost eight months. But still, you know, sometimes something will just set it off, and it's not always the smell; it's just the thought that man, a cigarette sounds good. But just because I quit smoking doesn't mean I can't enjoy watching somebody else enjoy a cigarette. Well, yeah. Yeah. They were all five pounders too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Now that that's about the size they were yesterday, the ones that I've caught today. Yeah. And nothing really big. Yeah. Here we go. Nothing really big. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, the biggest one I've caught in 2024 was on that spinner bait. I don't think I've caught one this year, have I? I don't know. I thought you did. Well, this is only like what the second or third time you and I have been out together, though, hadn't it? Since in 2024. Well, my, my weather app said it was 47 when I left the house, but I don't think it's that warm either. I think it's maybe like 42 or 43. Alright. You want that jacket out of my Jeep? Hold on, I'll give you the keys. Whoops! Hold on! Come on, buddy, come here. Quit fighting me, come here. Oh, I hooked him in the side, that's why. Why are you fighting so hard? Same color. Yeah, got that, got that lightness about him. Well, he was just barely hooked. Look at that. Well, he's hooked better than I thought. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tim, a lot of that is, uh, you know, how how they've been relating to weeds. Yeah. Because when right. the weeds, they they get uh, they get lighter. I think that's right. They're lighter when they're in the weeds. Yeah. I mean, he's nice and dark on top. You gotta go to Shields and get that. Yeah, I guess so. Lure. I guess so. All right. Yeah, that's a nice looking lure. No, number five. Oh, uh, just. Well, I'm just saying that for the camera. Yeah. So people keep counting. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, you're a pal. Like I said, that coach junkie. Yeah. You're a pal. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get it out? I'll walk up with you and get it out, but I'm going to come back down.
I'm just gonna leave my stuff right here. Yep. Cause like I said, I'm just gonna walk up there and get that jacket out for you and come right back down. about six fish today. This would be the smallest one of the day, number six. I think it was last spring. What? Last spring, like maybe April or so. I was standing right here and I threw it out that way and caught two at the same time on a on a lipless crankbait. Yeah, I was with Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was what? Unconscious. Oh. One little one, real small. Yeah, I came out Sunday after church. What's today, Tuesday? And I caught two right here, it's all I caught. And a guy was standing right over there uh, in that little opening, just knocking the heck out of him.
You got me. You got me. I got you. Yeah. I was say, heaven forbid I catch a fish. Sorry about that. How did we do that? There we are. Gary's on the board. Hey, hey that's a nice one too. That's the first one on your new rod and reel? Yeah. Look at that, it just came out too. Wow. He's pretty. Yeah, that fish is warm. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a change of color like that. Yeah. A little bit heavier bait and get it out there a little farther. And... How'd you like the feel of the reel when he hit it, or the rod when he hit it? Well, well, it was more weight than a yeah. Bump. Yeah. See, now on my on my lose rods, uh, my lose combos, when they hit it, it's a thump. But on this, it's less sensitive and it's more of a you know a pull. That's kind of
that way. This one might be a little better, I don't know. Now nah, he's just hooked, bunny. Yeah, he might be a little better. What's that? <laughs> Alright, I got hooked up in my camera here. There he is. He's a little bit bigger. <laughs> I have my line hooked up in my camera. Can you come slip this back on my hat for me? Yeah. Wind blew the line right into the camera. It's right here, it just slides this thing right here, just slides right on the bill. Thank you. Yep. I got a battery pack up there the power the power pack it's up under my hat <laughs> done an Elmer Reed thing there you were telling me about you know all right here he is there's number eight I, I was talking to the camera oh. I was telling him that was number eight so we got a total of nine fish today Gary it, it's a team thing yeah you're yeah. gonna you're gonna catch another one Number nine. Why don't you come over here and trade me spots? No. Well, yeah, but you can catch some too. See, you got lighter line than me, so you might want to only let yours drop about two. And while my reel takes up this reel for every time I turn the crank takes about 22 inches, 23 inches, and yours probably takes about 18 or 20, so you might have to reel a little faster too, compared to what I have to reel.
I'm not reeling very fast at all. Why is that? Oh, okay. All right. A stick of dynamite might work too. That probably seems better. I don't have any. She's doing good. Still got a little bit of pain in her elbow, but you know, uh, just a healing pain, not. You know. <laughs> well, I didn't get skunked, so. You didn't get skunked. That's what, what's important. Adam, the other day when you met us over here, he stepped right over there just on the other side of that bush and on his first cast caught oh, what about yay big and then went up there on that platform on the other side of that culvert and hooked into one that was probably three pounds but it got off and he was using that glide bait well compared to the baits we use that thing's huge yeah yeah Well, that one that I bought's seven inches. I haven't caught anything on it yet, but I haven't really fished with it that much either. Well, that one bait you got looks like a bluegill that's jointed. Uh-huh. I would think that would catch some fish. I haven't caught anything on it yet. I caught one on the other one. I caught a three pounder on the other one that I got. It's, uh, that one you're talking about is uh, from Academy. It's an H2O brand. Oh. I only paid like four bucks for it, but the one I got at Shields, uh, Mike Buka, uh, made by Catch Co. It's called a uh, Bullgill, baby bullgill, B U L L, and it cost 15 bucks. I caught a three pounder on it, but it just happened to be at the right time at the right place with it. That was a good cast. Well, I have to be careful because I, I like hitting those rocks. Yeah, it's a little, I'm just a little early for that. But yeah, if you bounce that off the rocks, that should get some strikes. Well, I usually, when I cast over there, um, like, uh, I don't know, the day that I was down Sunday, it was so windy. I was out here, and I cast over there, and 
The wind yeah, is Sunday was terrible. Yeah, 43 mile an hour gust. Yeah. I could fish any direction I wanted to them if, if it was that way. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the wind took it right up into the rocks with no problem. Yeah. And I found myself turning off the camera and walking over there several times. Yeah. Those rocks aren't that fun to walk on either. But like I said, right right there on the other side of that uh, second culvert, the one with the metal grate on it, yeah. right down to the water's edge, there's a platform you can stand on. I mean, it's, it's a, a dirt platform, but it's there. Why are you running sideways on me? <coughs> what a piece of grass, that's why. Check that, uh, that top of your, where you put your uh, snap, see if that's even. Oh, you so mean that, the knot? Right here. Yeah, that looks alright. Yeah. Every it's once in a while you get a little blade of grass on there or something, it'll just make that thing go sideways. Yeah, it doesn't take a while. use my thumb on that one. But the big fish that I've caught right here have been right in, in that direction that I've thrown coming, coming right across that little weed bed right there. I'm talking the big fish. Yeah. <coughs> Three hundred and fifteen subscribers. Three fifteen. Yes. How many? How many uh, views? Two hundred yet. Hundred and twenty-five thousand. Hundred twenty-five. Yeah. Now. I, got, I posted a video yesterday yeah, morning. You said, you said that got 8,800? The other one, the one before that got 80, 83 and some change. 8,300 and some change. The one I posted yesterday morning at 7.30, I had it automatically set to post. Uh, Last night at uh, 11 o'clock had 700 and something views. I woke up this morning and it, well, when I left the house it had 2,300. So people are, they're up early in the morning looking at that stuff. Yes, and they, what I'm finding out is they prefer short videos. Yeah. yeah. Real short. That 8,300 of them was 10 seconds. So, but listen up everybody. Ninety-nine percent of the people viewing the channel, watching the videos, are not subscribed. I would really appreciate it. You don't have to, but I would really appreciate it that if you if you like the video enough to to hit the like button, which so far today like twenty-five people have liked the video, go ahead and subscribe. You'll get to see everything that we post then don't cost you anything and Gary and I when we're out fishing we're not one of them game show channels that do them crazy challenges of going and buying kids toys and stuff like that to fish with I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend my money like that if I buy something to fish with it's gonna be worthwhile for me like I might go buy myself a new combo yeah, no. I haven't done that yet this year you, well, I'm not going to. I bought five last <laughs> year. That's yeah, I was with you when you picked that one up. Yeah, that's enough. I didn't realize you bought that many last year, though. Yeah, that's enough. 
So the next time I throw this, pay attention to the way I'm going to throw it, okay? How I'm going to release it and all that. Okay. try to go that way and up and then go that way and down. Right. All right. I thought I had a much bigger fish on. <laughs> I told you if you moved over here. <laughs> you know what I did? I popped it and let it drop, and that's when he hit it. There you go. On the red eye shad. I thought I hooked you for a second. No, get, get off there, fella. Ah. There we are. Well, that hooked him pretty good, too. Hold on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, there we are. So that's number 11.
can't complain 11 fish in the first week of March.